automatically print your lab reports. Yes guys, yet another automation to improve your productivity and to reduce your manual efforts. And today we are going to apply this automation for pathology labs. So the automation will look something like this. Whenever the test results of any patient or any sample are ready, you just have to mention the results in the spreadsheet and after that you don't have to do anything manually. The report of the results will be generated and will be printed out from your printer automatically. Yes guys, this can happen. Let me show you this on my computer screen. So guys, now you can see on my computer screen, I have created this spreadsheet here to fill in the details of the patients who want to get, get their test done from our lab, okay? So I have created this sheet to show you an example. How can it be done? And I have mentioned the details of the patient here as you can see the test's name, the patient's name, okay? And uh, uh, we have the name, we have the contact details and the sample collection date, the doctor who referred the patient. And here are the results value of the test, the normal range and the result, okay? So guys, you can customize this sheet according to your need. I just created it just to show you the example. I'm not a pathology guy, okay? And here in this last column, you can see I have this report status, okay? So as and when I'm going to make this status as done and I'm going to write it the done here as and when the report actually got completed, okay? So when the person who is generating, who's creating the report, who is uh, testing the sample of anything, uh, completes the report, I'm going to mention the report status as, as done and as and when I fill this cell as done, the lab report of this same patient will be generated automatically and will be printed out from my printer automatically. Okay, let me show you. I'm mentioning the status here as done. You can see I'm writing done here and I entered it. And guys, you can see on my screen now that the print of this of the lab report of the same patient named, uh, let me see, Sneha Raj is getting printed out from my printer. Okay. So this is how it is going to happen in real time and I can show you the generated report also the soft copy of this report in my system. First it got generated and saved here in my Google Drive guys. So this is my Google Drive here and this is the folder I have medical test reports and here the generated report will be saved. You can see a new report got generated here with the name Sneharaj. Let me open this for you. And this is how the report will be generated first in my system and this, this same report will be out from my printer automatically. Okay, you can see it has the details which I have mentioned in the spreadsheet and it got filled here like this. Okay. Right. So guys, this is how it is going to happen in real time. Now let me show you how you can also create this automation. So guys, before we start setting up this automation, we need to have a few necessary things beforehand. So the first thing is the folder in a drive uh, in your Google Drive in which you are going to save the generated reports. Okay, so you can create a folder in your drive easily, but just by clicking here uh, on new button and from clicking and by clicking on this folder option like this, you can create a folder and name it as you want. Okay, so I have this folder created here named as medical test reports. Okay. The other thing you need is a template to create uh, reports to generate reports for every patients. Okay. So here you can see I have used Google Docs application, which is an online word processor to create this template guys here. Okay. So here you can see I have the this uh, logo of my pathology lab, you can have the name the address. Okay, so we can insert tables in this in this document. And so guys, one thing I want you to notice here in this template uh, are these uh, uh, this data which I have put in double curly braces. You can see here I have put these tags here in double curly braces like patient name, the age, the sex, the mobile number, the email. So guys, these are called the variable tags because I'm going to use this same template to generate lab report for every uh, customer or every patient coming to our lab. Okay, so we need to get these things changed with every new report. The name of the patient is going to change the age, the sex, the mobile number, the email, the uh, doctor, 
its name, the sample collection date, the result value, the range and all these things are the variable things. Okay, so these are going to change with every new report. That's why I have put these uh, date uh, things in double curly braces as variable tags in my template. Okay, so you can create this template easily with the help of Google Docs application. You will find Google Docs here in this uh, in your Gmail account and you can access the docs from here only like this and from here you can create a uh, uh, template by clicking here on blank document you can create a blank document here and here you can create it is just like uh, any other word processor you can use it easily you can insert tables here by clicking on tables like this okay you can insert images the logo of your lab okay chart or anything you want so you can create it according to you this is a sample i can show you that i have created okay like this right so uh, the first thing was a folder other thing is this template needed to require to generate a report and the first thing uh, and the other thing is this spreadsheet guys in which you are mentioning the details of your patient and here i am going to uh, or any person who is working on the lab report is going to mention the result or the report status here as done or not done and he is going to fill the details here and as and when he is going to fill the detail the automation will run okay now let's start uh, setting up the automation to so guys to set up the automation you need to access public connect okay so first of all, what you can do, you can reach here on pavli.com and that will bring you to the uh, landing page of Pavli. Okay, from here, you just have to put your cursor on this products and click on Pavli Connect and that will bring you to other page. And from here, you can sign up uh, in just two minutes and create your free Pavli Connect trial account. Okay, after creating the account, you can sign in. So I have already created one, so I'm signing in directly here. And from this all apps section, you can access the dashboard of Pavli Connect panel by click by clicking here on access now button. Okay, so the dashboard is loading here. You will see this is the dashboard. Okay, from here we are going to set up the automation by creating a workflow. So to create a workflow, you just have to click here on create workflow button like this. And here you can give any suitable name to your workflow also. So let me fill the name here. So I have given the name to this workflow is as a auto print lab reports from Google Sheets data. Okay, now you can click here on this create button and you can see your workflow is getting created here like this. Okay, and here on this page, you will find these two things first, the trigger and the action. So as our automation work on this trigger and action, the trigger says when this happens, that means when any event occurs, according to that event as a response, the action will occur. And this action will make Pavli Connect perform any certain function. So it is written here, action is do this. All right. So as in our use case, the uh, trigger would be a new row added of any patient's details in our spreadsheet that we have in Google Sheets. And the action would be according to the details of you have entered in the spreadsheet, print the lab report. Okay. So first of all, you have to set up your trigger. So click here on this trigger window and from this choose app field, first you have to choose the uh, trigger application. So our trigger application is this Google Sheets, okay, in which I am entering the details of the patient. So select here Google Sheets, type here Google Sheets, this is it, okay. And here it will ask for the trigger event. So the trigger event would be a new or updated spreadsheet row, okay. So whenever you update any row or enter a new row of details, this trigger will uh, uh, shoot up. Okay, you can see it triggers when a new spreadsheet row is added or updated. Select this and uh, now it will generate this URL. So guys, this is called as a webhook URL. And with the help of this, we are going to first connect our trigger application, which is our Google Sheets with Pabli Connect so that we can capture the test data to test the connection and to create and set up this automation from Google Sheets to here in Pavli Connect. Okay, so let me show you the process guys, you can follow the instructions written here and you can create the connection easily. Let me show you the process. Okay, so first of all, what you have to do, you have to go to your spreadsheet here. And in this spreadsheet, you have to click on this extensions. And you have to install an add on here. So go to add ons, 
click on get add-ons okay and uh, this a new window will open up which is google workspace marketplace and from this search apps bar you have to search for pavli connect webhooks okay search for pavli connect webhooks here and you have to install here install it here in your spreadsheet so it is just it will take just two minutes to install it as you can see i have already installed it so i do not need to install it again and after installing it you have to remember that you have to refresh your spreadsheet this is an important step please remember to refresh your spreadsheet when you are done installing the pavli connect webhooks add-on okay so after refreshing when you go to extensions again you will find this pavli connect webhooks option readily available here okay on this drop down so from here you have to go to initial setup click on initial setup from pavli connect webhooks okay click on the initial setups and here it will ask for these two things the webhook url and the trigger column so in this webhook url field first let me erase it it is a url pasted already okay so here in this webhook url field you have to paste the url that you have here in pavli connect okay so click here on copy okay and as you copy this webhook url from pavli connect it will start showing this waiting for the webhooks response okay now paste this webhook url here in this initial setup in this webhook url field like this and here you have to enter the trigger column so the trigger column is the last or the final data entry column in your spreadsheet so guys here you can see in this uh, uh, in my spreadsheet let me uh, cross this okay so in this spreadsheet you can see i have the final data entry column is the is this l column you can see here here is this is the column in which i am entering the data at the last i will mention the status report status and in the last after filling all the details okay and as and when i mentioned done here the workflow will run the automation will run okay so l is our trigger column so i'm going to extensions again and on it from here i'm going to initial setup of public connect webhooks and here i'm going to paste the webhook url like this and putting the trigger column l and here you can see in public connect it is still waiting for the webhooks response so we need to send here a test submission or the test data by which we can set up this automation so here in our spreadsheet it is showing us this send test button so click on send test and you can see it it has sent us the test data which is the data of the first row we have in our spreadsheet let's check in pavli connect if the data got captured or not and you can see the test data got captured here like this so here it is showing all the details that i have mentioned in the spreadsheet in the first row the test the patient name the patient age and all other details okay now uh, our connection is working properly with our spreadsheet so click on submit here okay and one more important thing left here which is go to extensions public connect webhooks and click here on this send on event button guys let me show you extensions public connect webhooks and click on send on event like this so if you click on send on event what will happen whenever you add or update a new row here in your spreadsheet the data of that row will be transferred automatically to pavli connect and the automation will continue okay so our first step is completed here that is to connect our trigger application now it is time for the action so what action we want we want that according to the details i have mentioned in the spreadsheet the re the report got generated and printed out okay but guys i do not want to uh, print out the report when this status is not done okay if this let's say in some cases if you may if you do not if you don't mention here anything or you mention here that the report is incomplete or not done okay so we do not want to uh, trigger that okay we do not want the workflow to run whenever you mention anything other than done in this report status section you want the automation to run only when the status report is done okay so for the to ensure this we can apply a filter here so in this action uh, window i'm going to use a function by a feature by pavli which is called filter 
So here it is, you can see filter, select this. Okay. And here I'm going to use this data that we have received in the first tab. And here you can see we have this label report status, which is showing done here. Okay. So I'm going to use this label to apply in this filter. Here it is asking select your label. Okay. So when you click here, it will show you the Google Sheets option, the previous step. Click on it and here you will find all the details you have captured like this. So select the report status label from here. Okay. Then make the filter type equals to like this and in the value put manually done here. Okay. This means we are telling to Pabli Connect that whenever this report status is equal to done, then only make the workflow run and the automation run. Okay. So I'm clicking here on save and send test request and let's see what it will show us. And in this, in this response received here, you can see it is showing us the status as success and the condition is true because the, because now the actual condition is true here, because now in the data that we have received, the report status is done. So it is showing us the condition is true and the workflow will continue. Okay. So now what we want after ensuring this report status is done or not, we want to generate a report out of this template that we have created in our Google Docs application. So this is a template I have in my Google Docs application and we are going to use this to create or generate a report automatically. So let us check if we have all the details required to create this report. We have these things actually from our spreadsheet, which is the patient's name, the age, the sex, the mobile number, and the referred by doctor and the result values. All these things I have collected here already in Pabli Connect. You can see like this. Okay. And uh, we do have a sample collection date as well. Okay. And uh, let's check another time. Okay. So I have uh, one more tag here, which is the date. So it is the date of the generation of the uh, report. But we do not have the have that date yet in Pabli Connect. We only have the date of the sample collection. So to get the date of a report creation, you can use a feature by Pabli, which is called date time formatter to fetch the current date on which the report is getting generated. So let me show you how you can do it. Just click here on this plus icon and another action step will open up. And from here, I'm going to use date time formatter by Pabli. This is it. Okay. And here in this action event, I'm going to select current date option. So you can read here, it will retrieve the current date. I am clicking on current date and then click on connect. Okay. And here it is asking in which format you want the date. So the format we are using here, guys, you can see is this one in the sample collection. It is showing us the date and the month and the year. So let us make this format uniform. I am selecting the format here as month day. Okay. Sorry date, month and year. Okay. DDMM YY this one. And now it is asking if you want the time also to be included in the date as well, like this, you can see, but I do not want the time here. I just want the date. So I'm making it false here and then click on save and send test request and it will show you the current date. So you can see in the response received, it is showing us this date in this date time label, the current date on which we are going to generate the report. Okay. Now it is time to create the report from the template for that. You have to click here on this plus icon. And from this choose a field, we are going to select the action application, which is Google docs. So type here, Google docs, and you will find the application. Okay. And now in this action event, you have to select create document from template option. So you can read here, it will create a new document from a template, select it. Okay. Then click on connect here. First of all, you have to connect this application. So from here you have to select add new connection, then click on connect with Google docs. Okay. And from this window, you have to uh, select the Gmail account from which the uh, Google docs application is connected like this. And you have to give a required required accesses to generate the report. Click on continue here. And you can see now the authorization is getting successful and it started showing connected now. Okay. 
and here it is asking for the template document so it is asking from which template you want to generate the report so here you can see i have this medical test report template okay so this is the template document so i'm going to choose this template only from this field template documents so when you click here it will show you all the documents you have created with the help of google docs application and from here you have to search for your template so my template's name is this one medical test report template you can see so i'm selecting this only okay and here now it is asking new documents name so uh, it is asking that report you are generating you have to name that report okay so that you can know which report belongs to which patient and you can identify it in your google drive okay so uh, you can give the name of the report on the name of your patient okay so here i'm using the details i have fetched in the in the previous step from here okay uh, from this step you can see from the trigger actually okay so in this step here in google docs where i have uh, where i have connected google docs application i am clicking here on new documents name and from this first trigger step i am going to map the uh, name of the patient this is the name of the patient and try to keep the documents name unique so you can distinguish between uh, uh, different reports of different patients okay so here i am putting a uh, underscore and i am going to map the phone number of, of the patient also okay so that will help and help us to differentiate between different reports now it is asking new documents location so here you have to select the folder that you have created to save this document in your google drive okay so this is my google drive and here is the folder i have created medical test reports so from public connect i am going to select this folder only medical test reports okay this one like this okay and now it is asking for this date patient name age sex mobile number all these things why it is showing these fields here because we have these fields we have this variable tags in our uh, template here so when you put the variable tags here like this it will show up here in Pabli connect like this and to get these variable tags filled automatically in every new report you are going to generate you have to map the values of these variable tags here in Pabli connect okay so let us map the details here so guys i have mapped the details here like this you can see and let me show you how you can do this uh, let's say you have to map this date so you just have to click here and you will find this google sheets option and all others option and you can see uh, i have this date variable tag here in my template here like this so the, here i'm going i want that the date of the creation of this report is going to be mentioned so you have to map the current date here okay so you will find the current date by this date time formatter option click on it and map this current date like this okay and similarly you can map the details like this let's say that uh, this sample collection date if you want to map you just have to click on this field and you will find the collection date from the google sheets option from here you'll find the collection date like this okay and now when you click here on save and send test request the test uh, report will be generated from my template and will be saved in my google drives folder okay you can see here now it is showing this kind of response in this uh, section and it has generated a document id here you can see this means our new report got generated let us check in my google in my google rice folder and guys you can see a new report is here with the name of current gen let me open this for you and here you can see it has the details as we have mapped the date is 29 12 2021 so this is the same date i have mapped here you can see in the current date 29 12 2021 okay and all other details you can see then in the name of patient name variable tag we have current gen in the place of age we have age sex in the place of sex we have this uh, in the name of the sex the mobile number the doctor's name the sample collection date and all other details as we want okay so a connection with google docs and drive is working properly now what we want we want to uh, 
print this report automatically out from my printer. So guys to have uh, to get this done you, we are going to use a mobile printing application uh, that is called easy. Okay. But before that we have to make this file shareable with the uh, with mobile printing application. So with the help of this document ID generated I am going to make, uh, make this file shareable with the application. For that what you have to do you have to click here on this plus icon and you have to connect your Google Drive again where we have saved this file. So connect Google Drive from this choose app. Select Google Drive. Okay. And in this action event you have to select share a file option this one share a file with anyone okay click here then click on connect and from this window select add new connection then click on connect with google drive okay and from this window you have to select the gmail account by which the drive is connected and then you have to give additional access to create make this file shareable click on continue here and in a few moments it will be connected automatically you can see like this okay and here it is asking for the file ID. So here I'm going to map this ID here, which is which was done generated in the previous tab, this document ID label. Okay. So to map this, first of all, you have to toggle this map button to on here, then you have to erase this field. And when you click here, you'll find all the previous steps options. So from this number four Google Docs option, click here and map the document ID generated this one. Okay, click on it to map it okay like this and guys after mapping the file id click here on save and send test request and you will see it will um, create some shareable links of the same file so here in this response you can see it is showing us uh, the permission type uh, anyone role as reader and here below you can see we have this web view link of the file the html link the PDF link and the EPUB plus zip link also. Okay. So we have created shareable links. Now let us connect our uh, mobile printing application, which is easy. So guys, before connecting easy with public connect, first of all, you have to connect your printer with easy application. So let me show you how you can do this. Guys, this is our easy applications dashboard. And here with the help of this easy connector, you can connect your printer here easily. Okay. After connecting your printer with easy, now it is time to connect uh, the, your easy application with public connect so that we can automate this process. So for that, you have to click here on this plus icon and another, another action step will open up. And from this choose I feel you have to choose easy, easy blueprinting this one. Okay. And now in this action event, you have to select print file option. Okay. Then click on this connect button and from this window select add new connection and click on connect with easy. Okay. So it will be connected automatically because I have already logged in in my zip application. If you're not logged in, it will bring you to the login window. Okay. So here it is asking for the files files URL. So here I'm going to map this URL that we have generated in the previous step from Google drive. Okay. So you can select any uh, kind of link here. I'm going to use this PDF link that will be helpful. Okay. So just click here on this file URL field and from this last Google Drive option, click here and map the PDF link. Okay. This one report uh, export link application slash PDF. Okay. And here in the printer ID, the printer ID will be automatically selected if you connect your printer previously with easy. Okay, so it is showing me my printer's ID like this. And now it is asking for the files type. So I have used the PDF link. So you just have to put here PDF manually like this. And it is you can select the print and delete option. If you want to get the printer out of print out of your printer and delete the file, you can make it yes. Or if you want to save the file, keep the file saved, you can make it no. Paper size, you can select the paper size. You can enable color printing from here only. You can select the number of copies you want of the report, one or two as you want. I'm making here two. Okay, you can select the orientation of the prep lab report. You can select the duplex mode of the printer and the resolution, the quality of your print also. You can select it from here only. And now when, when you click here on save and send test request, 
the report will be printed out from your printer let's check our connection by clicking here and guys now you can see on my screen that as and when it will give us a response here the printer will start working and here you can see it it is showing me the job id and you can see the printer started working and the printer is coming out and the print is coming out from my printer okay so connection with printer is working properly guys and our workflow is completed now i can give you the recap a quick recap here what we have done and here you can see in the first tab in this trigger i connected my trigger application which was google sheets with the help of this webhook url then we captured the test data to set up this automation i collected the data of my of the first row after that i ensure that the report is completed and the stated mentioned will be done then only the workflow will continue so i have selected this filter and make this filter like this okay so the condition was true and with the help of date time formatter by pavli i fetched the current date to be printed on the lab report in the variable tag okay so i fetched the current date here like this after that we generated the report with the help of google docs application from a template that we have created previously and i mapped the values of all the variable tags i have in my report uh, reports template here like this okay so that whenever a new report get generated these tags will be filled okay and when i clicked on save and send test request we have seen a new report got generated with the details filled here automatically okay after that we make this file uh, or report shareable with the help of this uh, action event present here share a file with anyone okay and we have created some shareable links okay after that i connected my mobile printing application which which is easy and map the files url to be printed and selected and customize our uh, print report by these with the help of these options available and when i clicked on save and send test request you have seen the job id is created and the printer started working and guys you have to set up this automation only once you have to make the connection only once after that as and when you mention the status of the report and fill the details here in your spreadsheet this automation will run automatically and it will give you the reports so guys we are done here now you just have to click on save to save your workflow and guys you can use this same workflow because because i am going to paste the link of the same workflow in the description so that you can clone it in your own free public connect trial account and start using this automation instantly so guys this is it for today's video if you got any query regarding our business automation you can ask and discuss your queries from this forum and guys if you want to check the pricing of this application you can use this link and if our automations are helping you do not forget to like share and subscribe to our channel